Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial. Before we get started, I want to let you know that you can find all the code examples and resources we'll be using today in the GitHub repository linked in the video description below. This repository serves as a valuable companion to the tutorial, allowing you to follow along, experiment and explore the code on your own time. Hello everyone and welcome back to our Next.js uh, tutorial series. Uh, in today's video, uh, we'll be diving into uh, advanced initialization using API routes. Uh, before we dive into the practical aspects, uh, let's have uh, uh, a quick overview. The advanced uh, initialization we are discussing is really useful when you have to, uh, when you have a specific use case and need next.js to behave slightly different than its default con configuration. The initialization is always the route that we create before in the folder next auth and route.ts and which essentially is a regular API route. Uh, however, the magic you will see that happens in the ability to execute or modify certain things of the request. These could include logging the request, adding headers, or also manipulating query or body parameters, just as you would do in a typical API route. A crucial tip to remember actually is that since this is a catch-all route, you should always check what kind of next.js action is running. So this is important to for executing specific logic only when needed. Let's jump into a practical demonstration. Here is the, is the simple initialization that we already saw in the previous chapter. We want to replace it with something more advanced and interact with the request and response object. We have to import also the type of next API request. Next. API response. In this way, we are going to interact with the request and the response. This is for, this is basic from next. Okay. And we also need, for example, we want to interact with the cookies and we can import the cookies library from next. Import cookies from next. Headers. Here we go. So we have this option. Okay. So now we're going to change this. We're going to replace this simple Nexod initial initialization with something more complex. So the handler will become const. So we create an asynchronous function that is going to be the request. So it's the rec that for TypeScript have to be in the same type of next API request and the response have to be the same type of next API response. And here we go. So we define the parameters of our function and now we are going to... Let's see the request first. We just test the function if everything works smoothly. And we have to remember to return directly the next O initialization. As you see, we are just giving to next O initialization the request and the response. Maybe in some case we want to mo modify before giving to next auth. This is the, the purpose of the advanced initialization. So it's rec and mess, and we give the same auth options. And here we go. So what I want to see now is the request object. We are going to set this code and we change the next auth tutorial and we just run that. We see the request object. Okay, we have some error to fix. Say next hot is not defined. I think it's defined, so I make a mistake here. Next API response now have to work. Here we now we don't have any error. So this is the request object. We can see we have uh, 
a lot of information here. We have uh, the method. We just, let's see, I want to assess the cookies. So we just cookies. And that's clear. Just watch again. Okay. This is our cookies. So we have all the information from the cookies. We have actually the cookies are null. I see from the console, actually, I have these cookies. Let's write some new values in the cookies. For example, we're going to cookies dot set. Here we put name. What? So it means that every time I go inside a route before activate next auth, I will set the cookies here. It can be useful in a scenario when I want to write some cookies depending on the user. So in this way, I will uh, write this new cookie here. And if I update again, and here we go. I write on the cookies this new key and value. And for example, we want to get the query. We want to get the body and the method from the request and we're going to console log. We should see on the terminal. And yeah, we're going to see first of the query. If there is a query, the body and the method. Let's see. Okay, we don't have a query here because it's just a path without parameters. The method is get, and we also, we don't have a, a body. And we don't have a body defined because actually it's not a post request. Uh, that's all for this session. Uh, see you in the next session. We have reached the end of this video tutorial and I genuinely hope you have enjoyed its content. If it has been helpful to you, please show your support by liking the video and sharing it with your friends on social media. If you haven't already, I warmly invite you to subscribe to my channel to stay updated on upcoming lessons. Don't forget to check out my website, thevergolabs.com, where you will find a plethora of interesting programming content. You can also send me collaboration requests and explore all the programming services we offer. Your participation and support are crucial in my growing and to grow this community and providing you with even more valuable resources. Thank you for the bottom of my heart for being here with us and I look forward to seeing you in the next video tutorial.